All right, so uh, this is going to be Aries Sun, Moon, and as well rising a weekly general tarot reading February 17th to uh, February 23rd, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase a, a personal reading. So that being said, moving into the uh, spread, spread straight away, the first card here is going to mark the topic and the theme of your week. And that will be uh, the uh, Hermit card, followed by the next one here, which represents the energies which are leading up to the topic we have the eight of swords afterwards what we do have it is the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week that will be the ten of wands the fourth card here it is the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week that is to be the three of cups Followed by the fifth card here, which stands as how people are going to take on you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into people around. That will be the seven of wands. The next one is going to be the guidance that the tarot is offering to you. That is to be the nine of wands. Okay, so quite, um, quite of an interesting one. So the first two that we do have are the eight of swords and the... Um, the Hermit card are pointing that that week for you, Aries, it is where you focus on really very substantial aspects of your life, career-wise, relationship-wise, you name it. Now, the energies themselves, which are the Eights of Swords, are the energies which are pushing you to recognize, not to realize, you already know it, okay, but to recognize your true direction, your true passion, your true relationship, your true career path, you know, the true actions that you need to make. Because the Eight of Swords, especially energy-wise, it does stand as if you are ignorant to the truth and if, uh, you know, recognizing it makes you free, then what? If you are ignorant to it, makes you, okay? So it's kind of like a week of a liberation. It's a week where you finally are stopped being now, uh, scampering around, for example, doing stuff that are beneficial for that person and for, the per for this person, for somebody else, but you, and instead, you are to withdraw yourself from the rest of the world, um, from their ideas as well, just to think about over your ideas, you know, and over your concepts, over your um, goals say and that itself is going to provoke you into taking some substantial measures in order to i would say improve your circumstances which may not come straight away but with the hermit card here you are definitely going to make a steps toward say your calling because the hermit it's very um is very bound to that particular statement so just to give you an example here, what I mean, it is that say you're working as a, uh, uh, on a cash out in a, in a store or something like that. And suddenly you kind of like uh, realize that's not your place. Okay. And you have to change that and you are making the steps to change that. So throughout this week, uh, Aries, it does look like that you are to change opinions. It does look like that you're going to change as well emotional state and that is due a, a, a awakening that awakening that you are to have that is due to um how can i say it it's awakening but as well it's like recognizing you know where your true part is standing what's your true um for example, partner is. And that combination itself may bring to a, a destruction of relationships. You know, you kind of like wake up one morning and you under, and you realize that person that, lie, that, that is lying next to you, it's not your guy or it's not your woman. And you just can't fight off that feeling, that awakening of the truth, that you don't love them. Maybe you stop loving them for a quite a while but you were trying to convince yourself that you are still loving them and uh, you no longer will be able to convince yourself this is what that reading is all about but this week you are to open your eyes for what is substantial for you and thus it looks like that you are to approach the matter with uh, uh, 
ex I would say extreme, but not exactly. How can I uh, say it? Uh, you are to approach the matter with, I would say, intelligence and wisdom as well. So you so you don't kind of like jeopardize it in any way. And with the hermit, it's very, mm, as a situation, it's very likely that the direction you will decide to go forward with a new job, for example, uh, a, a new relationship or diving deeper into the current one, because you may realize that the current one it is exactly the one you need. If you have been baffled or kind of like a apprehensive up until this moment, should I give myself to it completely or not? And that direction that you're going to take on, sadly, a very few are going to be there to applaud you for. So we can say as well that at that point, you're also going to know which your friends are, which are the people, who are the people that are going to support you unconditionally and who are those who are around you just because you are serving a purpose in their life okay and as soon as you stop serving that purpose because it's what we said that you're going to stop serving uh someone else's here throughout this week okay they will no longer want to be around you because they don't see any reason to do so because you are just a tool in their hands now the next one it is the challenges that you will have to overcome that is the Ten of Wands, and we can take a look at this card in a few ways. Now, the first one it is that as soon as you kind of like open your eyes for the truth, you know, you have your awakening, if you say, there are going to be many things that are going to move around. Changing, I would say, uh, based on your new, um, new understanding of the environment around you, new understanding of your relationship, new understanding of your career. And that itself, it's kind of like it's going to call for you to uh, relieve yourself or uh, forlorn um, aspects, people, tools as well, means that no longer are going to serve you into your new journey that you are going to start walking or embarking at that particular week. From another look that we can take on this card, it is that the whole situation is going to improve a lot your independence, meaning that you will no longer going to be attached to, to foreign goals, to foreign ideas or to foreign understandings as well. And that itself is going to call for you to kind of take a bigger responsibility on your shoulders. It is like having more and more things to take care of because the Ten of Wands, it is about an awesome unfoldment that it is in front of you. As a matter of fact, as if you look at the cards, we do have a person struggling with the Wands and the Wands are a symbol of power and passion. And as well, um, here it's about the harvest, okay? So the person harvested everything he wanted and now he struggles controlling it. So that, that is to be the challenge. You go forward in a new direction with, uh, a, with whatever you came up with once you had your awakening, okay? And you kind of like have to face a lot of a new endeavors and tasks that are accompanying this new path of yours. And you have to tackle with them because with the Ten of Wands in a challenging position, every single bit of uh, of a circumstances or of requirements here, it's absolutely necessary. You can't overlook a single thing here. Okay, and you have to just attend into everything out there. Now, on the flip side here, guys, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy, and that is to be the Three of Cups. So a couple of ways how we can look at the Three of Cups. The first one, more practical way, it is that as a gift and blessing, uh, you are to be blessed with immediate results. It is just uh, as soon as you understand what you have to do for yourself, that is, because the Hermit is always about doing things for yourself, okay? Not for the rest of the world, but for yourself you are going to start seeing immediate results of your actions, of your performance. Say you wake up one morning and you understand that you love, um, uh, say, James in, in, instead of Robert. And as soon as you start approaching James, you will see that James actually shows interest as well. So immediate results. OK, uh, and uh, however, you should not fool yourself with that because you do have a long road to, uh, to to traverse before you reach the end of the destination. But the Tree of Cups itself give you the 
um, the emotional lightness here, you know, not to be, how can I say it, uh, not backtracked, but uh, setbacked with, uh, for example, doubts that things are to work in your favor. You know, if you approach once again the situation with intelligence and wisdom and you don't rush it whatsoever and you focus only on what is substantial for you, what 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 you are going to enjoy and what you find to go that, that is going to improve your life a lot, then things are going to start working out for you. That is your gift and blessing. The other gift and blessing here is that whomever it is left after the purge that is to happen, they are to share your vision unconditionally, meaning that they are going to be happy for you. These people are going to be happy for you. And also they will be, how can I say it, ready to lend you a helping hand because the Three of Cups is about cooperation as well. Okay. And they will want to experience what you are experiencing as well. And we will want to share their good fortune with you as well. And not to mention that in that particular case, you are going to be gifted with the... Um, emotional flow in between you and your friends and in between you and your beloved ones as well what i mean with this it is that these people are not going to make you feel bad and only are going to support you emotionally and as soon as you for example face a, a wall that you are finding difficult to overcome you are to be cheered out from those people and as well you know you're going to find a i would say solace when you spend time with them so the other card here it is uh, how people are going to see you, what kind of impression you're going to give into those around. That is to be the, the impression of the Seven of Wands. And uh, it's, it's a bit difficult to be explained. And I have to start from a far away. So you are changing here your uh, goal, your position. You are now, you know, start moving towards your own personal direction instead of following some, some other um, someone else's idea say okay and people are going to see you in that particular case a very resilient to exterior temptation so you set your goal and nothing can actually knock you off the path that you have chosen additionally to that people are going to see you as a, a very um, agile when it comes to acting in the right moment at the right place as well so that i don't know how to maybe the right word here is to use subtle people are going to see you very subtle in uh in actions and in as well in decision making and lastly with the seven of wands uh people are going to see you as well very um defensive if you will it's kind of like a uh a point where you are not gonna allow anybody to uh to influence to oppress an influence upon your own personal uh, upon your own personal endeavors it is like for example you do have a relationship and uh, the the father of your uh, of your wife says trying to oppress exterior influence upon the relationship to call certain shots you will completely go into negate that or that is the impression that you're going to leave into people in other words that no one can tell you what to do and how to do it and the last one here is going to be the nine of wands which is the guidance that tarot is offering to you aries so with the nine of wands guys uh, that refers to previous experience and to uh, how can i say it to um yeah it's about previous experiences and it is as well about uh patience that you are going to need to have in order to move through the very initial difficult stage of that new direction of your life. So the previous experience is going to kick in, uh, knowing that you definitely um, you you definitely can go as far as you think you can here. All right. Uh, oh my God. So say that up until this moment you have been smothered beneath someone else's stall and now you you can finally breathe again, all right? And you're no longer stifled but ex by exterior influence of this person and of that person. And the previous experience you have is going to push you into uh, more confident actions, okay? And this is exactly what you have to lean into 
the previous experience that is to push you into more confident actions. And additionally to that, this, the nine of wands it is about the awareness of how much you can change your own personal circumstances because that card here points that you can definitely make a conscious changes into your environment, say your schedule, your routine, your marriage as well, your career, that will improve the quality of life tremendously that means that you gotta take the hand the matters in your own hands and arrange them the way that you are finding them uh, comfortable for you and for those that you are finding substantial in your life so that being said there is this was your weekly general tarot reading february 17 to february 23rd 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can schedule such. Hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then, bye.